Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Bugs and Happy New Year's Eve and Happy New Year's depending on what time zone and when you're watching this video. But 2021 is officially over after today. Today's video guy, I just want to give y'all every single detail that we know about multiverse before we enter 2022. So this will be the old news, the current news, and the newest news of everything we need to know about multiverse. And now let's get straight into the video guys. Now the first thing first is the game is free to play yes if you did not know that already the game will be free to play you don't have to spend a dime to play this game at all number two the game will be cross play yes this game is also going to be on multiple platforms not just one the platforms that it's going to be on is psn xbox and pc unfortunately it will not be making a switch or mobile at launch it is possible that this game could get bigger where they have more resources to implement it into those other platforms but as of right now those are the three platforms that it will be on or technically five if you count you know previous gen and the current gen you know ps4 ps5 and xbox and you know, the new xbox and yeah thirdly cross progression for the people that love to um platform switch and flop and do all that stuff don't worry guys you don't have to have make multiple accounts and have this and that on certain accounts no all your accounts be linked up and you'll be able to jump and turn to any platform that you want in any situation that you have pc crashes or you just got a new piece or you just want to play on console all that stuff it is here um uh, number four custom settings this goes to sounds controls jump taps and visual also for my keyboard and mouse fans mouse binds it looks like they're gonna give us the most customization when it comes to settings possible hopefully even colorblind for the people that you know have colorblind and stuff and etc number five will be the main modes of the release of the game and that's going to be if you haven't noticed 2v2 1v1s and free for alls and there will be future um game modes that are going to be dropping and also events so i'm assuming like some fun stuff like how brawlhalla does with the snowball fights maybe hot potato you know a whole bunch of goofy stuff they're going to have down the line for content wise for the game number six is perks and i haven't noticed the trailer if you haven't, haven't watched the trailer there's going to be perks in this game not viable perks nothing crazy uh it looks like there's going to be a defensive offensive and a utility perk um that you could put i'm not sure if you need to have one of each if you could triple stack the same one or you could triple stack the same one in the same category and there's going to be a fourth perk which looks like it's going to be your ultimate so th there's possible of three ultimates if you're looking at the screen right now there's going to be one where you can do this certain move that certain move and maybe there's possibly even a basic special move that your character does without you know implementing it into you know your perk tree or whatever but could be wrong about that but that's all we know about perks in this game number seven is the type of characters that are in this game now we have mage slash range you know for your characters that mainly focuses on you know range attacks then it looks like we have a tank um you know characters that could take like i guess the most beating in fights and stuff we have a bruiser as in like hard hitters that are probably a little bit slower but pack a mean punch assassins probably more on the combo side of stuff because you know you can't really assassinate people in this game I, i'm assuming but yeah it looks like it'll be more of a combo type character and then support character something new to the fighting platform game where it looks like there will be certain set moves that these characters will have that will benefit themselves and even their teammates at the same time and finally horizontal slash vertical if you actually look at when they hover over these characters it looks like they kind of tell you um i guess what the character specializes in whether his attacks are better horizontal or vertical for example if the character is better off hitting characters left and right or you know up and down you know, horizontal or vertical so i think that's what that means i could be wrong but you know this is what i'm going off of with my acknowledge number seven will be dual movesets like i was talking about this support character a couple of these characters have movesets again if you saw the trailer that benefits both of their teammates Bugs Bunny with his tunnel, Garnet with her, looks like you switch spots with them, which would be pretty cool. So say if you're like doing a combo, um, getting an opponent off the um edge, but your your teammate doesn't have like a, a recovery or a jump, you can swap places with him, finish the combo to completely kill your opponent, and then use your jumps and your recovery that you didn't use because you were sitting um on the stage and come right back on. There's a lot of team um, moves I can see going crazy for this game in 2v2s. Number 9 will be no friendly fire. I was watching the trailer and it looks like 
you can't hit your teammate i'm not sure how people feel about this i think it should stay like this in all honesty i think i think in brawlhalla it is kind of annoying that you hit your teammate and stuff yeah and at least in brawlhalla it's versatile because you can save your teammates and then again you can punish your teammates by a mistake um like i said y'all could go in the comments and you know have a discussion about that if y'all have but for my opinion i think no friendly fire is a great move for this game at least for now until we see how it really plays out into the game number 11 or 10 sorry guys i'm, I'm kind of getting off with random with these numbers but let's just continue uh will be any characters possible if you haven't really been watching their twitters and stuff they pretty much have been promoting promoting that any character is possible guys i'm talking about ninja turtles timmy turner anime anything is possible guys now obviously even though they want it to be um, possible to be any characters, there will be a limit, obviously, with licensing and what franchises want to license with them and stuff. Um, if this game goes correctly and perfectly and everyone loves it, I don't see not one franchise not wanting to get in a piece of this cake, you know? Um, that's also including, like, maps and skins that's been done by, you know, other franchises and stuff. Um... And yeah, I just see a lot. Like, even if there's some characters that possibly won't make it into the game, it could be franchises with cool-looking maps that, that people want in the game, and they could probably work their way in getting that in, and then showcasing those characters that probably wouldn't have been the best as a fighter, but probably as a background, or just be able to see them would be a cool idea and stuff. The quickest example I could give is probably, like, Chowder, you know? I think Chowder's pretty cool. I don't really see him going to be as a fighting character, but I could definitely see him in a map. Of his you know world and him in the background uh, the next topic will be about maps so it looks like they want to make maps more on the rank side than casual side now I know a lot of people are probably saying like huh well why would they do that why would they not you know focus on casual because casual make the most part of the game blah 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 this is not taken away from the casual at all it looks like they just want to versatile this game to where the maps are playable for rank and casual unlike other fighters where you are limited to certain maps and stuff and it looks like they're not fully going away from the casual side it looks like they're not giving us boring maps that's just gonna be there and you know it's a flat surface you just fight and that's it it looks like there's a little stuff that's being you know in implemented and changed for example on the bat map you can see that you know there's these car platforms that you stand and you get hit by it moves and stuff and then the adventure time map with the whole bouncy trees and stuff and it looks like there's going to be little cool stuff that's still implemented that will be fine for competitive play and casual play but nothing crazy like how smash has with like the map changing and dropping and doing all that crazy enough hopefully they do still have some of those maps for those casual players that love enjoy those random weird tacky crazy maps don't get me wrong but it looks like majority of the maps so instead of it being less maps for rank and more on a casual side, it looks like there's going to be more maps for rank and then some extra bonuses just for the casual side, which I think is a very a better way of going um, on making maps and stuff. Um, next, what we're talking about is leveling characters and earning stuff. So if you haven't noticed, again, in the trailer, there is a way that these characters kind of level up and you gain stuff. You gain um, taunts, you gain skins, you gain in-game currency you gain bread <laughs> i don't know what that's all about but yeah you gain quite a lot by leveling up these characters which i think that will give again another drive and grind to play this game it's like okay i played this character a lot i got to this level i'll let me go use this character even if i don't enjoy this character i can still earn some cool stuff for them and you probably use it for other characters and stuff or just earn in-game currency that i need and i don't want to spend real money on which is really cool and i hope you know they add more stuff like that into the future the next thing we have is voice actors if you haven't noticed man these characters have voice actors oh my god unlike <coughs> yeah <laughs> we, we, we know i was ready to go right there but we're not gonna you know give them any satisfaction but let's continue tutorial training mode and lab so it looks like there will be a tutorial obviously almost every game has that you know explain how the game works and everything it's also going to be a training mode you know you have a dummy you know you can test out your combos and stuff and you know the game teaches you you know the mechanics and stuff but the lab so some people know um what the lab is and that would be like how brahala has it where when you're loading into a game um and you're waiting you're throwing with these bots and you can just train and practice and keep yourself warm you know so you're not just standing there waiting for q and it, it looks like they're 50 50 on whether they want to do it or not because they think that their queue times are going to be fast now for casual play it could definitely be fast but when it comes to rank play i think that's where they need to add it 
just because you know when you get into the higher elo or point system or however they're gonna work it there are gonna be longer queues and no one really wants to just sit there and wait people want to play and keep warm obviously not a lot of people even use it in brahala I'm, like again i'm not fully sure but i know over time it probably just gets boring and no one wants to do it but it's still a cool unique feature that this game should definitely look more into for people that do enjoy it you know it's definitely always good to have stuff that people use even though not everyone will use but a good chunk of people will still use you know next up we have is um how you could play the game where it comes to local play online play and possibly LAN play tony uh i think i believe he's the co he, he's the boss man all right let's call him the boss man of the devs right and pretty much he said that there is a possible chance that there might be possible LAN online play which that means is you're gonna be able to play with a friend that's next to you online and with this whole COVID thing and you know how people play casually or even third party tournaments it will be a cool feeling to be able to play with your duo in tournaments that's sitting right next to you versus being online you know how cool would it be to, to call your friend over to sit down and play and compete in tournaments you know third party tournaments and etc i think that would be a cool feature just for the fact that how COVID is and there probably won't be land tournaments for this game as much as there would be down the line so i think that would be a cool feature that they should definitely look more into because it looks definitely fun to get into uh, moving on will be um play tests, guys so it looks like if you have played the playtest before, you are immo um, immortalized. And what that means is that you're able to play every single playtest that will be coming out into the future. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be like, what? That's not fair, blah, 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 blah. Calm down because there will still be more people that will be accepted into these playtests, including crossplay. It looks like they're going to be looking more into the crossplay and see how it runs and how it feels with playing, you know, people from Xbox and PC and PS4 and, con and PSN in general. Uh, and also other regions if you didn't notice the last play test i believe it was only na or something and it looks like they're trying to open up to more regions you know test stress their servers and see how well it is and etc and if there's any bugs and going against other you know regions or you know you know and any of those bugs you know they're just slowly you know implementing all this stuff so it doesn't like crumble and they want to hit it all correctly you know at a correct timing i guess you could say moving on would be early access if you didn't notice this game is actually going to be an early access as in it's going to be released to some players before others but this looks like this is the time where the game will be i believe able to be streamed and made videos publicly about what's going on in the game and it looks like from just listening and reading all the stuff they've been saying early access will be again for the playtesters the people that haven't played it and obviously more people that will get accepted into it instead of a like open early access and the only thing, reason why i say that is because they're very concord of concord was not even what i meant to say they're very um secretive on wanting stuff to be leaked or said about the game yet because they're not done as you don't know that if you're a playtester you're under an nda you can't really talk about the game or show any gameplay of the game early access will be the first time it being open publicly and being spoken on and talk about the characters and show characters and show your own gameplay with the characters so it looks like, like again it's going to be limited but probably like a big library of players that'll be able to stream it and think yeah but it just won't be fully accessible to the public yet as in like you can't just click and download it probably It'll probably still be like a little process you have to go to to even get access for the early access but moving on dedicated servers with rollback yes i said that uh, again i feel like a lot of games do say this you know dedicated servers and they still have shitty internet and all this bs but it looks promising it looks like they're really taking their time with this game guys like i said they are really focusing and hitting all the points it looks like they're literally taking every amazing slash great point from every fighter and putting it into this one game so there's no fuck ups there's no rushing it there's no just the people want it the people want it just give it to them no it looks like they're taking their time with this game and i could definitely see their dedicated servers and a rollback being Probably not perfect, but definitely better than a lot of fighters that I've been hearing about of how bad it is online. Even though the game probably might be amazing at, on lands, with COVID guys. There's going to be lands, but probably not a lot as we want. And be able to play online is going to be amazing. Not only that, but this game is going to have anti-cheats. Oh my god. There are shooters out there, Call of Duty, <coughs> that have no anti-cheat <coughs> after over a year. <coughs> but it's just crazy that a fighter is thinking about this and be like, just to make sure there's no cheaters or any, you know, 
unfairness going on that they're gonna have anti-cheat which is an amazing i feel like any online game should have this this is a no-brainer next we have is customization guys customization this game looks like it's gonna be a lot and crazy we're gonna have skin profile pictures announcers ring outs and possibly even more that we don't know about this game and what I mean by announcers, I'm talking about like people that talks through the game and etc. before game and after game. It looks like they're going to be able to be characters that are fighting in the game. Characters that are from franchises that just didn't get in as a fighter. And then the ring outs or what you saw about that. That's all folks, you know, all those cool stuff. The customization of this game is nearly like there's no limit. And I love that. A lot of people love the customization and making the game feel as their own, you know, being able to customize so much. So I can't wait to see what they do with that because that definitely keeps a lot of things and just just new stuff into the game and to grind for you know if you have to earn it or an etc most likely you could buy it too obviously but yeah uh, moving on no pay skin win no no pay to win skins obviously you know it's gonna be cool skins might be looking a little different and stuff but they already confirmed the hitbox is gonna be saying you don't know, worry about this skin giving you like a bonus stat or extra you know stats like mobile games and all those crazy stuff it looks like there's none of that's gonna be in the play next following up obviously will be a battle pass and shops be a little battle pass that you know you earn these cool skins that are this and the third and earn currency and all that and then there's gonna be a shop you know those skins that are not in the battle pass but cool skins that you want to buy that is gonna cost you a little money and guess what it's a free-to-play game you don't have to buy it but you know you're obviously gonna buy it because skins are cool <laughs> um going in more in depth i probably should have said this first but obviously in-game currency as you can see with the coins um buyable currency you know the stuff that you buy that will buy you skins in the battle pass it looks like it's gonna be like gems i believe and then finally bread again it's in when you level up the characters i don't know what it could be maybe you give it to your teammate to earn more coins after finishing a match win or lose um buy a different variant of skins you know one skin and then you could use bread to change like the color of it i, I don't know <laughs> story mode ah okay so it looks like it is 50 50 whether this game is going to have a story mode or not but if they do have a story mode i believe it's going to be a paid content the only reason why i say that is because i don't remember any game that's free that has just a free story mode but what will make a cool story mode that you have to pay for will be exclusive skins you know you play the story mode and you get exclusive skins and announcers and these finishers for playing it and you know beating it and beating it with certain characters that would be fucking dope another dope thing they could do is add a co-op story mode that would be lit that you could play with your friends and do story modes and earn and you know achieve stuff awesome idea hopefully they take that if they do have the story mode like i said it's 50 50 whether they want it or not but that would be awesome going forward guilds guild fights and leaderboards yes it's gonna be guilds in this game and not only that you're just gonna be able to have a clan tag and be like yeah this is my guild and stuff you're gonna have guild fights i don't even know how that's gonna work but just thinking about it is just like and, and there's gonna be leaderboards for it too it's like is there gonna be a way to like format these scrims and do all this crazy stuff and compete against friends and you know rival teammates you know that is gonna be something cool and amazing to look into and i just can't wait to see more details about that and going on from guilds it's gonna be rank and leaderboards yes there's gonna be a rank play for this game and leaderboards showing you know who's at the top who's at the bottom and all that extra stuff and i love it man i love it how they're they're keeping it to the casual and rank side because in reality even though a game is majority casual rank side always not say prevails but pushes the game you know because no matter how casual a game it, a game is there will people that are just going to be better than others and to show that type of skill in games fun to watch compete in and watch it grow and not just to end off with this rank topic but this game will be supporting esports yes multi versus will be an esports game at launch oh my god it's not like your other fighters that has all these third party events i'm pretty sure the only real fighter that has the esports is Brawlhalla. Besides, you know, I guess um, Smash now. After how many years they actually added it, and obviously the Mortal Kombat and Street Fighters with their kind of small community, but you know, still somewhat esports. Like you know, still acknowledge stuff. But for the fact this game is gonna be starting with esports, free to play, and more of a new game for people to get into, there's endless windows for this game. It could be a really top tier game um, for fighters and probably push fighters to be more into the gaming um genre because fighters are a very small proportion of gaming not really small but you know what i mean popular 
you know i would love to see this game become a popular fighter that gets the fighting genre out there more for people to try out and stuff you know and i just can't wait and then after that is mk players being confirmed recently aka yesterday we had tony the big boss man talking about if you had two characters which I, if y'all haven't saw the trend it looks like that that's how they're gonna roll out these characters is probably like two to three from a franchise obviously down the line it's gonna be adding more and more because that's what people are gonna want to focus on be like no no i want more of this franchise because of these characters and blah 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 and probably easier and easy one easier to make or or not easier to make one easier to license and two more realistic into fighting like like you probably see you know um like Mortal Kombat you probably see a couple more than two down the line because it's their franchise and probably easier to implement because they're already fighters you know versus having to make a whole new brand set move set and stuff like shaggy and stuff you know but yes it pretty much i'm not sure it's going to be confirmed that it's going to release when the game drops but Mortal Kombat characters are definitely gonna be in multiverses from this tweet there's no way they're not gonna add a couple of from a couple of them from this tweet this will be the biggest bait of the ending of 2021 if they don't add not one single Mortal Kombat character that would be wild um moving on in game pose um it hasn't been confirmed fully but he said he really loves the idea so that's something really cool and I feel like a lot of games should have or in-game pose talking to their you know their player base versus social media don't get me wrong social media is a good way too but I feel like not a lot of people have social media you know or not a lot of people like to use social media so to have a poll that you know when people get on they see it and they can vote will be an amazing feature for the game because then it gets all the voices out because guess what all you could do is get on the game and you get a poll and then there's a system that records everything and bam you can see what the majority wants and don't want and don't like and likes you know so it's just crazy to me how this this um you know this company is listening and they want this game to be something they don't want it just to be a money grab or just a yeah here's this unfinished product but you're still gonna pay us for skins and stuff ha 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 fortnite <clears throat> but you know i'm just so happy to see a company actually wanting the game you know business wise and player wise into one and i can't wait to see what they do in the future going on if you didn't know this right now in the psn store and steam stores you could add this to your wish list the people that hate you know sitting and waiting for a game because it drives you crazy and mental and ah like myself right now because i am craving <laughs> multi but anyways yeah <laughs> you can add it to your wish list on psn and steam sorry xbox guys yes you know you didn't get the memo but yeah that's another cool thing and then final the final news will be what's next for multiverse when it comes to news and it looks like nothing big guys because it looks like they're really looking into these feedbacks these bugs and just issues that they run into themselves when they're playing the game because again from a tweet from tony pretty much it says the next thing that they talk about or bring up as news won't be something big and something short term so probably you know characters or maps or game modes i'm not sure what else it could really be but probably in that ballpark or even you know the next beta test obviously a couple of us will see that as big but again to them that's probably short term as in like you know a weekend like they did with the last one and yeah that's pretty much all the news that we have for multiverses for 2021 um i'll try my best to keep us updated on any multiverses news that i get in 2022 i'm not gonna do one piece one piece videos when i see small things that's not my type of thing i like to give y'all a nice juicy info obviously if, if it's a beta or characters i'm gonna talk about it but it's like small stuff i'll, I'll try to collectively add it like i always do and give it all y'all once instead of making one video for each little thing because i just feel like that's not worth it but yeah that's pretty much it guys that's all the information we have for 2021 of multiverses can't wait to see y'all in 2022 um if you haven't noticed i'm gonna be a content creator and a competitive player for multiverses so if you wanna hit the subscribe button guys and watch more content and information and news and competitive play in the future for multiverses don't forget to subscribe button guys leave a like if you like the video comment about anything comment about anything y'all want to conversate and discuss i love it guys i, I want to be in entwined with y'all you know talking about the game and stuff also for my competitive guys i started a discord for my comp players you know i want to grow it before the game launches so we have a nice community for the players that want to take the game a little more seriously or just play tournaments or 
improve yourself in the game um that link on the discord will be in the description guys and that's it and i'm out guys peace yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about Left him back home in a whole nother state Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous Got another five on her side, she a waitress But it's getting tough, hard to find out